Hello friends, let's learn about Unit 3 Data Foundations continuing to our course. So this is the most important concepts related to the universe design. So data foundations is the backbone of the universe design which we can uh, say. So what is data foundation? So data foundation is a schema of relevant tables and joins from one or more relational databases that are used as a basis for one or more business layer. So there will be a data foundation which will have uh, tables which are connected to the data uh, relational database or OLAP uh, relational database and then they are joined with each other based on their relationship and then uh, on this uh, data foundation this business layer is built so business layer is nothing but the final universe which will be a uh, building so uh, data foundation is the main basic concepts related to the uh, universe design so how data foundation editor looks like means when when we create a new data foundation from the idt tool it it has this uh, options available there means we can you see insert detect so these are the options insert tables we can insert tables we can um, insert joins there from there so this is the structure we can insert view uh, additional view in this uh, inverse design when we are developing a complex inverse that I will be showing you practically how we can do this. So coming to the joins means how we can use joins. So join is a condition that links table in a data foundation. So a join restrict the data return when the two tables are queried. So if you see, these are the two tables which are uh, there, which will be joined based on some uh, their condition or their relationship. So we we will have this uh, options in the edit join when we are creating a join we can set their properties from here and the fields uh, we can validate uh, the expression as well from here means whether it is correct or not so to what are the different types of uh, joins so equi join outer join theta join shortcut join and column column filters so equi join will have the tables based on the equality between the column values of the two tables so if there is a column uh, and b column in this other table if they are equal then that data will be retrieved outer join will be how we link tables one of which has rows that may not match those in a common column of other table so it is it is just giving uh, the matching uh, results from one column but uh, and and other uh, values as well okay so theta join, it is a new join in information design tool or universe design which is based on some conditions like if you want to specify a date range, so start date between so and so. So like that means this operator if you are using then it becomes a theta join, shortcut join which will provide an alternate path between two bypassing intermediate tables. So suppose there are uh, three tables or four tables and uh, we just don't, uh, don't need the other tables to be joined in intermediately. So we can bypass that we can just uh, first and last table we can join and intermediate table we can bypass so that is becomes a shortcut join column filter will be based on a single table join means on a uh, single table we can have a join like suppose uh, on a sales table we can just say sales type is equal to s that means whatever the data which is uh, related to sales that will be written so how we can create uh, joins means there are different jo approaches to create joins in inform information design the first one is uh, automatic and the second one is manual which means we can uh, so there is an option means if you see this detect option so when we insert some tables in the info uh, data foundation like suppose we have inserted 10 tables then if we click on this detect then it will uh, detect joins so uh, when we click on this detect joins the, it, the tool will automatically detect the joins based on the column names or based on some database keys so that that is a automatic method the manual method is inserting a um, there is a insert insert join option which we if we select it will, it will show up the tables listed there and then based on the tables we can have that joins created there coming to the cardinality so this is an important aspects when we are designing a universe. So cardinality describes how tables are joined by stating how many rows in one table match the rows in another table. 
so it is it is expressed as a pair of numbers that is one to many many to one like that uh, relationship the number of rows of one table that match the number of rows of other table the number of rows match can be zero one or many that is zero to zero one to one one to many many to one many to none like that for each customer so this is an example for each customer there can be one or more reservation so the cardinality is one to many if you see this is means one customer can have more than one reservation so we can have that one to many relationship so, so this is a table which we, if we have first column as a primary key and second column as a foreign key then it will have the cardinality as one to many and if first table is foreign key and second table is having primary key so it will have many to one relationship how we can set the cardinality there are two ways setting cardinality automatic and manual so automatic means if you click on this button while editing the joins it will detect the joins uh, cardinality based on their data in this otherwise we can set our uh, manually as well means if you click on this arrow it will show up the one to one one to many many to one zero to one one to one like that um, cardinality we can select it from here and then select uh, that cardinality so this is a manual method okay so um, uh, then coming to the equi join this is uh, based on column values between two tables so it is a basically primary key one table and foreign key in another table so um, suppose if you see this data this has id 1 and set 77 and this region name is having the, this is other table so when we query this based on country i dot id is equal to region dot id we'll get the matching records if you see one one usa western and usa eastern and uk england and northern england so that both the records so apart from this if there are no matching then it will not uh, uh, be displayed in the resulting table outer join is again another type where it links two tables one of which has rows that may not match those rows in the common column of the other table so how we can specify this outer join so there is an option means if it is this check boxes if you select this outer join means uh, if i want to specify this uh, outer join on this region table then we can have this so it, it will have each row in a region matches zero or more rows in a client and each row in client matches one or more region so this is a, a cardinality it will come so this is a way we can specify outer join now coming to theta join so this is a separate join or uh, specific join in uh, uh, information design tool while developing universes it is a between type join that links two tables based on relationship other than equality so between two columns so if you see use to demonstrate uh, ranges x example start date and end date so period if you say start date and end date is between so and so so this is 1st of january to 30 30th march so uh, this type of join is called theta join and the last one is column filter which will have this uh, data which is written whenever the table is used in the query so, so suppose this is the where condition it is a self join we can say means it is based on cell dot cell type is equal to yes so it is um, the column filter so um, there are some rules which we need to follow only one filter per column is allowed can insert filter on a calculated column as well the expression can contain sub queries so this expression can contain sub queries as well and add prompt and add variable functions are allowed in the expression okay so that's it for uh, this data foundation i'll be covering a practical uh, session for data foundation in next video so let's understand uh, your uh, whatever i have covered here what is data foundation and what are types of joins so data foundation is a schema of relevant tables and joins from one or more relational databases that are used as a basis for one or more business layer so it is a basis for business layer that's it and then what are the types of connection these are the connection types equi join outer join theta join shortcut join column filter so we have covered this in a detail means each and every join so i have uh, i hope you have understood this concepts if you have any questions then please put it in the comment section
if you like my video then please like it please subscribe to my channel as well so that you will get to know about my next tutorial thank you for watching